I'm booked for months. When I say months, I mean as of the date of this video, I'm booked out until October. I've actually had to disable signups for full paleo tours because of so much demand. First off, thank you. That's awesome. But secondly, the next person that I'm about to tour right now is able to skip the line. The reason for that is because they are a senior delegate member. Their name is Mintha. Now, I haven't seen this plot before. You are about to see something that I've never seen before either. That's how I do things. I go into it with fresh eyes. I don't do any gatekeeping. I don't really do that. I've toured over 100 plots. So what I'd like you to do right now is sit back, be cozy, and get your thumbs ready because this is going to be awesome. Let's get to it. So I'm here with Mintha right now. Mintha is able to skip the line, like skip like way, way, way ahead of ahead of everybody. I mean, we're this we're already just kind of dropping into like this super cool entryway thing. It's my summoning circle. <laughs> well, hot damn. Well, Mintha, you're my tour guide. Where are we going? Let's let's go on an adventure together. Okay. Um, I'm gonna say the the backyard for glass so let's go ahead and go into the house sweet oh i like how you've decorated just just the walkway and if i recall correctly um you know i i did a live stream and you had some some gems here and you've upgraded the path that's really cool i'm following you yes. I'm sorry i just getting um, <laughs> getting lost in the in the uh the details yeah um the gemstone path is a um first a Shout out to my best friend. She had um, she had all sorts of garnets and crystals and all sorts of things in her backyard. She even had a diamond in her backyard. It was really weird. Wow! But we lost we lost her probably about twelve years ago. Oh, so. yeah. That's cool though. I like not cool that you lost her, but cool that you're able to kind of you know pay that respect through through Palea, through the design language of Palea. I've seen lots of people do um, memorials and and just kind of, you know, honoring honoring those memories. I just think that's cool. That's that's what <laughs> that's what was cool. I'm digging yeah, this, so. by the way, this just all your design in here. You got ground uh, ground heating and Nice little nooks, gallery walls, lighting is all well balanced. Like I feel well, like I kind of went overboard on the lighting, I believe. I can sit here and I can just like tell my fortune. <laughs> You're going to have a good tour. Okay, let's start this way. I also like how you've put this uh, archway in this in this opening, and you kind of decorate it around that too. It's a nice touch. Uh, it's it's different, you know, and I think that like as as we progress into getting more elements in Palea, like people are having more flexibility to create the place that they want, as opposed to just being confined to the limitations of the game. But just you got a lot of balance in here, and it's it's really nice, like all the different knickknacks and stuff. Well, I, I just wanted documentation of this plot before I destroyed it. <gasps> we have another Phoenix. Nice. Hey, if there's if there's one thing I'm good for, at least it's archival purposes. You are. That is wonderful. <laughs> I get all the angles. At least I try. Oh, uh, yeah. This is cool. I, I like the uh, the. I've always seen so many different interesting patterns with the capital chic uh, bookshelves, like the chevrons, and that's a really nice, nice little touch. You got a lot of little things mixed in here. I like the color of the wallpaper too that you chose, and the vanities. I, I didn't mean to cut you off, so please, what you got? Oh yeah, I was trying to do a Star of David, but it just didn't work out, and since I had already pulled them off the wall, I just. I just did that. That's cool, though. That That's another thing I, I I respect is when people are able to express their beliefs through Paley as well. You know, just kind of honoring their their religion. There's so many different uh, 
like in our community, there's so many different religions and nationalities and everything. It's just kind of, it's, it's cool that people are able to express themselves in that way through, through paleo. I like this little bathroom, Nick, too. So fancy. Yeah. And the toilet is not hidden. It's out there in the <laughs> open. <laughs> it is. <laughs> it's also fun too. Like, uh, as I'm walking through a house and just kind of turning around, following you back the other way, like we get a different angle on, on things. And, uh, that kind of goes to show you that's, that's proof in a sense of the level of detail that you've included in here. Cause you've, you don't have a, like your house is multidimensional as far as like, there's lots of things to look at in all different angles. And of course, I mean, those sight lines though, those are awesome. Yeah. I, I do have years of experience on that. And that's as far as I'm going to go with that though. <laughs> Without yeah. <no> promotion. <laughs> That's okay. That's cool. And a little sitting area over here. Capturing all the details of this room too. It's nice though, uh, as we, as I kind of look down the hallway or just the, the sight line itself, you're using the same floor, but you're mixing it up with the rugs. And I think that's, that's a cool. That's a cool way of, uh, of breaking up the spaces. You know, you're making them unique with the stuff that you have on the floor. And that's just that, that, that that's a way to make a room very dynamic in that regard. Ooh, I like this room too. This is always something that's really interesting to me too, is place settings, how people have uh, I mean, this is just a labor of love too. I mean, you, you go into all the details of where do the forks go and the spoons and the knives. And apparently there's like a, a whole Wikipedia about it, but I'm, uh, I'm uncultured. So <laughs> all I know is the line from Titanic kind of work your way from the outside in. Yeah. Well, there is no way that this is a little quick to my cousin because she she used to she was in 4-H and she used to um one of the things that that you could do is like hostess type stuff and oh, place yeah. settings is one of the things that you could do oh nice and, and you had a you had to pick out a whole um menu and then you had to you had to set up a place setting for it, and but this this used to only have the ruined food on the table. It was <laughs> it was for Eshi. I yeah. was, I was going to have Eshi over for dinner because she's a she's I, a handful. She, she would appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, that's really cool though. That's cool. Another another little homage. I'm following you. Where shall we go? Okay, garden area. Nice. Make sure. Bossy. Yeah, we came from here. Yeah, nice, nice room, nice room. Ooh, garden area. I like your topsy turvy uh, pathway. That's nice. Well, it was going. It was going to be a little bit more elaborate but i ran out of room after putting the house to where it was so oh uh, yeah i also th remember uh the way that your garden is laid out and how um it's kind of staggered in that way it's a it's a good space saver but you also maintain those benefits too based off of how you have things laid out mm -hmm. and it's also fun too when you have I always, I always kind of mention, right? Like the production things, they're sort of a means to an end. You got to use them for uh, making jams or making planks or making ingots. But then when you just kind of take the time to add some flowers around it and stuff like that, it just makes it less uh, gaudy. <laughs> I mean, they, they, they're big. They're big things. You got little baby Frogbert taking a bath and you got big Frogbert just holding down the fort. That's awesome. 
I like how you use that bold wallpaper on the bottom too. That's a, uh, that's a nice touch. Kind of anchors it. Got nice little seating areas off to the side. Plenty of seating areas. Multiple entrances too into your plot and kind of have the seating anchored around this Zen garden. I'm just taking in the sights, don't mind me. Lots of cool stuff. Oh, I see a baby. There's a baby. Yeah, there used to be a fence here, if you remember. I do. I took it down because it, it took up way too many resource blocks. Yeah, so. yeah. I've seen people starting to use the building blocks more as a divider um, to save on assets, especially just using the um, these uh, big squares because it's just a single asset. But I like how you've decorated around the Kitsu, uh, especially since you got a Kitsu plushie over there to the side. But putting something behind the Kitsu, whether it's like mirrors or something like that, just really frames it out. That's a good look. And we don't know what that crack is about, but you're prepared. You're prepared for that. Ooh, what do we have over here? This pavilion of, of trinkets. I'm spotting a trend here. I love the makeshift furniture. It's so cool. Hey. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, please. It reminds me of when I was growing up and everything was like tinder rocks and and boards and stuff like that. <laughs> we were very we were very poor <laughs> growing up. So yeah. brick and board and everything was duct tape and bailing wire. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I I get you. I get you. I think that's cool though, like, you know, off of that story you've you've created a uh, kind of an, an an homage to your past but also just creating the home of your dreams too are we mm -hmm. have we been in here oh this looks different what do we have in here yeah. this is my area I, oh, nice. this is the one of the first after tearing everything redoing this this plot probably five times before i was actually happy with the, the layout mm -hmm. i i decided to keep this this area as my my own and then kind of envision the other area as maybe like a, a b and b or something oh yeah that is really neat this is kind of where i'm seeing your personality get more expressed oh this is grand See, this is what's what i what i personally enjoy you know when when people are like this is my space See, like the rest of their plot is like you know it's it, there's been a certain bar that was set but then like you're like what well, this is my space like you can tell you can tell especially with the body count you know all the little details and stuff that you put into this, like it's kind of where you, you really, really you're taking ownership of it. Yeah. I, lo I love the teapots and all the little bottles. I think they, they, I know they take up a lot of resources and probably contribute to a lot of the reasons that people crash, but I yeah. just, I just love little knickknacks and bottles and stuff like that yeah it's... yeah that's cool though that's really cool and then we have this other side here and i like how you've used your your drapes kind of mix the colors together this is a cozy spot yeah this is my dressing room Nice uh, tiered lighting. That's that's kind of a cool cool touch as well. 
It's kind of how, how you have like uh, the lighting that steps itself down. And I am just a huge fan of the bay windows. They give you such a panoramic view of anything and just kind of seeing how people have decorated them. It's such a really cool extension of, of a house. Yeah, my, my great grandmother had bay windows and they they had storage underneath and so mm -hmm. it was I remember as a kid climbing inside of the window seats. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think a lot of people have, have been trying to create that that sort of nostalgia of just being able to sit in the, the bay window and read a book or something like that. Yeah. I thought you were about to say that you were going to hide in the storage areas because I would have done that. Oh, yeah, we did. I mean, <laughs> and it was all packed dirt, so we would come out and we were covered in mud. Oh. Oh, yeah. All the friends are here. <laughs> Gang's all here. Yeah, they're multiplying. I like the new uh the new plushy designs. They're really fun. I always I always get a kick out of the uh the fun guy plush because just the serious face. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, nice little zigzag. Path out to Bahari, of course. It kind of hides that that my the main house isn't centered on the plot. Yeah, yeah, it's it's a nice it's a nice illusion. All the bases are covered here. This is super cool. I think that uh, I, I'm happy that they have added more plushies to the game and, and made certain plushies a little easier to get. Because I think that using them to to tell a story, like it just it makes an area feel more alive. Like if only, you know, it'd be nice if we had NPC standees or something like that. Give me some yeah. NPC plushies. We'll have like a little tea party. I like how you put the fountain underneath this, this, uh, Wisteria Pergola. That's a nice touch. Too. I don't know if you've ever played My Time at Sandrock, but they have, they have little, little figurines of some of the characters and they are, just, they are adorable. Mm -hmm. I've heard of it. I haven't played it though. One of the things that I consider to be unique about my style of videos is that I like to sit down and I like to talk to the creator of the plot and ask them questions about their process. Because it's one thing to go and explore a plot, it's a whole nother thing to get their side of it. I can go in blind and I would be like, ooh, this is pretty, but I would have never guessed in a million years that it was designed in a certain way because of a certain reason. So. What we're about to do is we're about to sit down with Mintha and ask her some questions about, you know, her process and get to know her a little bit better. So sit back, relax, and let's go do some Q&A. Let's get the deets. So I like to begin off a uh, Q&A time, you know, just talking about all the all the different things uh, about your plot and, and house, of course. I liked all the sight lines that you incorporated and if I haven't told you already, I totally feel uh, if I told you one one other thing, I think more definitively, you're you're definitely a collector. You have a lot of different mixes of, of things, little pockets of uh, pockets of little different things like you're able to kind of ebb, ebb and flow. But a lot of the things that I see is I, I see mixes of color. I see a lot of angles and I see balance. Um, the lighting that you use, the wallpaper choices that you use, they're all very unique. And uh, and then just how you had a lot of the the pathing and kind of the, the evolution of this that we've seen, you know, from the speed tour uh, to now has been really cool to kind of see all of that. 
Um, I think my first question would be, where, where do you get your inspiration from? Lots of places. I mean, I'm one of those people that probably watch like 500 YouTube videos <laughs> of something before I even attempt to do it. Oh, that's cool. You know, you know, you're just, you got to get all the angles before you can. I know there are people that can just jump in and go, but I'm I'm a little more reserved in that, and I just I can't do that. I very much like a measure twice, ooh, place ooh. once sort of person. Right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. Resources are are very pricey, and so you got to know what what you're doing first yeah totally understand that where do you think uh was like the most difficult place on your plot to uh to decorate like what did you have the most trouble with probably the the entrance circle mm -hmm. because i was trying to make it where that it was centered and it was it was attached to the one it was attached to one of the the squares mm -hmm. and as i moved the square I didn't realize, but the square was also moving the circle. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so totally. I, ha I had to add, I had to add another square to it to make it a little move over a little bit. Oh, that's cool. That is cool. And I, it... I was doing it probably about an hour ago. So it was, it was just like, I have to get this done on time. <laughs> 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 that's a lot of fun that is a lot of fun for sure yeah well, i guess i guess my last question and and i like to occasionally ask some some paleo questions here too uh what what sort of things are you looking forward to getting in paleo well um I'm really looking forward to the little dragon because I love dragons, but I, I kn know that I would not be able to afford it mm -hmm. because paleo prices are outrageous. <laughs> yeah, they are. I'll, I'll, I will be, agree with you that. Being able to see them, uh, you know, running around that, I think that would probably be a mess. Yeah. But, um, some things that I would like to see are um, different color choices for the furniture. Mm -hmm. I mean, we have the light green and the pink, mm -hmm. and we've discussed this quite a few times in Paleo Chat, but I, we, we don't have a dark green. Right, yeah. I've I've heard a lot of people ask about Hunter Green. Yeah. And green is my favorite color and I I I do like blue, but there's just not enough green. Yeah. Yeah, I totally get that. Totally get that. Well, Mentha, uh I wanna thank you on a number of levels. One Thank you for supporting the channel as a senior delegate. Uh, that's, that's how we're able to do this right now, other than, you know, waiting until October. <laughs> uh, secondly, I uh, want to thank you for inviting me out to take a look at your plot because, um, you know, it's there's a lot of things to kind of take note of. And and eclectic core homes are one of those homes that that definitely make you go, ooh, you know, it's, it's very intriguing to look at to kind of see how people... Uh, organize their their plots in different ways, unique ways, uh, but still at the same time have balance. You know, uh, it's it's definitely mm -hmm. one of the the interesting types of design styles to look at. And also, I mean, it's it's kind of cool to see people mix and match different design styles too. Um, but yeah, uh, those of you who are still here, don't forget to give the video a big old thumbs up. Uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you really enjoyed what what did you take inspiration from and uh, i will see you all for the next one until next time bye bye